So listen, I want to be as productive as the next person and I'm all about planning and productivity and getting the most out of basically every single day. And while some of you may need to see that video, I really wanted to talk to you about productivity from a whole other direction when we're actually managing stress and anxiety. And maybe some of you will relate to this, maybe some of you will totally not, but I thought that in today's video, we are going to be chatting about my three tips of how we can actually plan better. What are the three things that you can do today so that you become more productive and you manage your anxiety a whole lot better. So if you struggle with anxiety and overwhelm, then this video is definitely going to be for you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Meshi with Pats of Wellness with Meshi and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are chatting about stress, anxiety, planning, managing our time better. And while you may also be an entrepreneur and at that point, your time management becomes absolutely crucial and essential, I think we need to talk about the three things that we can do right now so that it doesn't become a form of obsession, which is why I wanted to talk to you about this today. So a lot of you might be, well, some of you might be, you might be in one of two categories. Let's just start with that. You might have trouble with really managing your time and really planning your days and your weeks out because really everything just sort of feels like it's getting dumped on you on a regular basis and you really never feel like you're on track. Um, you have a to-do list that's as long as basically Santa's wish list. So then really it's just like this never ending cycle, which when you look at it, it actually causes you to go into more overwhelm rather than actually feeling like you're achieving something. So you might be in category number one. Category number two might just be like, you might be looking at really the to-do list and things like that and it more causes you stress rather than feeling like you need to be way more productive than you have been. And then at that point, that's where we're at today. That's that's sort of who I'm speaking to. So this video is not so much for those of you that are already, you're not productive and you want to become more productive. This video is more about you're already productive, but then every single time when you're not actually scheduling things that it causes you more stress and anxiety. I'm speaking to you ladies and gentlemen. So it takes a moment for all of us to just acknowledge the simple fact that not all of us are lazy and not all of us are unproductive. There's sort of that tendency out there that you should be achieving more and you should be bringing out more from you and you should be doing more. And even when you've done a lot, there's never that level of fulfillment that sort of comes with it. So I'm speaking to you, if that's you, because I have hit that, and especially if you're a high achiever, if you set really high expectations, if you're really stubborn, then you're feeling me on this. So why, why do I want to mention this? Because honestly, as springtime arrives, as we are shifting out of one season and we're shifting into a new season, it's a, it's a form of new beginnings. It's a form of starting fresh, starting new, starting to build on our great habits. I don't think that everybody's habits are terrible. And I think that when, when you have stress and anxiety, sometimes it could stem from a million and one things. I'm a medical professional in a sense that I'm an alternative healthcare practitioner, but I cannot be your doctor. I cannot be your psychologist. I will tell you, well, this is what you have. So let's diagnose you. And this, and there's only one way of managing anxiety. I'm only speaking from my own experience. So take it with a grain of salt. If you do watch this, I wanted to offer you those three perspectives because I think that we really, really require a level of self-compassion and empathy about how much we're taking on each day. So like I said, I'm not speaking to those of you that are really unproductive and you're sitting in front of Netflix for four to five hours a day each evening. I'm not speaking to you. You need to watch more productivity videos. I'm speaking to you if you are already productive, you're already you know, putting in a full shift, then you come home and then you take your kids to the activities and then you sit down and you tutor them and then you still make the bake sale for the next morning and then at the end, you have about yay time. And then, you know, you look online and they're sort of showing you like your dreams are drifting away if you're not putting in more and you should be more productive. So I'm speaking to you. What can we do? Like, can we, how can we make peace with it all? Like, what are the three things that we could actually do so that the craziness stops, you know, like, and really we can just shut off those notifications that says that somehow we're still not good enough and we're still not hitting some 
unimaginable quota of, you know, how to be productive. So number one is honestly, if you are finding, basically I find for me personally, when it comes to stress and anxiety, a lot of the times it comes from a couple of different places. Sometimes I'm just freaking out and It comes from a place of sometimes my body takes on stress. My body takes on stress and it shows up as stress in my body even when I'm excited. So it could be a positive, it could be positive stress or it can be negative stress. So what, and at that point I notice it because my mind sort of gets blurry. So what I mean by that is I sort of find that I have to double and triple check something that's relatively obvious. I I end up forgetting details and my mind starts going into a loop and starts racing about something that actually does not matter as much as it should, if that makes sense. So at that point, I just grab a piece of paper and a pen. Sometimes it's my bullet journal. Sometimes it's my little notebook. Sometimes it's the note on note taking app on my phone. It kind of doesn't matter. And I write it all out, write out all of the crazy that happens in my head that sort of tells me like, you should be keeping track of this. Don't forget this. Don't forget that. Oh, that would be a good idea. So when I'm finding that my, my thoughts are really, really racing and I really feel like I don't have a good handle on it, I grab a piece of paper and I write it all out and just let the crazy flow. And by the end, when in my mind, I'm thinking that I have a lot of things to actually say, A lot of the times it only ends up being about four to five thoughts. And then after that, I lose steam and then I go back to normal. So my number one tip for you is to write it out, like grab a piece of paper, have have a notebook with you at all times if you can, or just simply use your phone and then just write out everything that you have in your head because the moment that you put it to paper, that you no longer allow it to demonize you in your head. Number two. Number two is honestly, it's very simple, but to-do list or no to-do list, I think a to-do list is important, but at the same time, a to-do list without attaching it to time frame is just going to be just that, a very thing that can really taunt you. So my suggestion to you would be to start viewing your time in a different way. Because basically when you're saying scheduling, to me, that just really sounds like prioritizing. What is the most important thing that you really wanted to focus on? Those are going to be taking priorities, whether that would be your, you know, like some things that you just can't avoid, like taking your kid to a recital. You can't really avoid that. You need to do the thing. But then in the meanwhile, can you use that buffer time while you're waiting? I call that dead time. Basically, like when you're literally just sitting there just waiting for the thing to be over. Can you use that in other ways where it really pushes your wheel forward and you're actually getting things done? So then by that point, your to-do list can get plugged into the thing that you actually have to do that is in priority right now. And then that way, you don't feel like you need to spend time at the end of the day beating yourself up about it. So the way I like to do planning is a little bit different because I look at it more as a priority list. And then I'm looking at open slots and dead times when really nothing else is going to be really happening. Like right now, as I'm filming this, it's during the day and I'm in between appointments. Not much else would be happening except for me to get some rest and then after that I can go back to work. But I'm using this time slot for me to actually film this video and I have it uploaded for you guys. That's what I mean by using time slots that are available or what can you do without you feeling like, oh my gosh, I should be productive. No. It's more just what are the priorities? Write out your priority list rather than your to-do list and then that way you can kind of plug them in and then they get done and then you don't spend time on beating yourself up about it. So that brings me to my next point to obviously use your schedule, use your calendar, use use your, your, whether it's a digital calendar or you're using it on your bullet journal or you're just using it, using it on the fridge. It doesn't, it really makes no difference. As long as you have it in writing and schedule in the priorities and also schedule in time. Okay. Wait for it, ladies. Time for you. That should be just as much of a priority as getting your to-do list done. So it's not just the laundry and the picking up the kids that are important, but also getting your workouts in, getting your massage treatments in, getting time to even just read, time to do personal development. All of those things take time, but honestly, none of that will get done unless you put it into that priority list. It's just as much of a priority as you 
picking up your children or you meal planning or you know you prepping your meals it's the same idea honestly at the end of the day if it funnels back into living at a higher state living in a more vibrant more positive vibes then you definitely want to include that into the priority list everything else like the scrolling through social media the distractions the you know talking mindlessly about the latest netflix show those are all dead times that really you could have lived without. But the thing is that first and foremost, we need to have a conversation about why you should prioritize these things. And once you do that, then for you to be working with your schedule becomes effortless. If you're already using your schedule, then my only other tip for you would be to use your schedule, not just for the must haves, but include you onto that must have so that you don't burn out. It's absolutely crucial and important because we tend to be, especially if you're a female, I hate to say it, especially if you're a mom, you tend to be caregivers and you tend to give constantly. You have to prioritize taking care of you because that never becomes a priority unless you decide that it is a priority. So just hear me loud and clear on this. It has to be important just as much as the health of your children, just as much as the health of your business, or as much as that cooked beautiful meal that you're preparing. All of these things, they play into a much bigger picture where once you're taken care of, you just shine so much brighter. You just function at such a different state. And you pushing you at the very end of that list is not helping anybody. It's actually quite selfish. So just keep that in mind. My last tip for you, number three, is honestly, it kind of ties into my previous tip, which is obviously share it with others. Don't just write it down in your book, but actually share it. Communicate with people around you. Communicate with your support system or get friends to help you. Make sure that they know, listen, this is the time frame that I'm doing whatever. Please don't bother me or please help me or please provide me with support. Having support, having that that positive support system around you and you would be surprised how willing people are to want to help you. You do a lot of good things in the world. Like what are we talking about here? You you will always get the support that you need, but like first you have to be okay with asking for that support. So these are all of my tips. If you wanted to see more planning videos in action, not just when we create our spread, but when we're actually like blocking the time off and what are the main categories that I use for blocking things off in my calendar, just let me know in the comments below. I'm always all about being a little bit more productive without the guilt trip, of course, because I think that we really don't have time for that. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you are brand new here, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here. We usually post uh, about three videos a week on this channel. We talk a little bit about spiritual practices. Sometimes we talk about, you know, time and anxiety management, such as this video. Other times we talk about just how to live a more consciously driven life when we are making our lives a little bit better and a little bit more holistically driven. So if that sounds good to you, hit the subscribe button and you also get notified but because I release three videos a week we kind of dive into a few different topics you might actually not know what I'm going to be releasing when so to help you out and be a little bit more conscious of your time and respect that that you are pretty busy I usually release a recap email every single Sunday that I give you some of the best takeaways and summaries from each of my videos that way you know you don't miss anything and you can sign up for that link is down in the description it's completely free and complimentary to make your life easier and in the meanwhile keep planning you guys and keep shining your light because you know what you're so much more powerful than you actually give yourself credit for and i will see you guys again in my next video bye